Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. We begin this midday with a developing story out of Plainfield. A six-year-old girl is dead after a late-night fire at a home there. Her mother and brother had to be rescued from inside of that home. All this happening right along Windsor Avenue. News aides Brian Spyroofs with the details. Well, Keith, where this all happened, a little ways down the road from where we're standing, we're obviously being kept back. The road blocked off as this investigation is ongoing. Now, here's what we know. This fire broke out around 1030 last night along Windsor Avenue. We're told there was a mother inside the home along with her two children, an 18-month-old boy and a six-year-old girl. Two Plainfield police officers were the first to arrive on the scene. As they got here, they realized the mother and her young son were trapped in inside a bedroom. The fire marshal explains what happened next. The police uh, broke the window to that bedroom, uh, helped each other into the house. Uh, keep in mind, this was a high, high heat, uh, dense black smoke. Uh, the police officers kept saying they had to come back to the window to get a breath of air to get back into the house to continue doing their search in this bedroom and this was before the uh, the fire department got here with all of our uh, our special protective equipment our breathing packs and such like that so they had uh, they had a very very challenging very dangerous time in there the six-year-old girl was eventually discovered in the house after emergency crews made several attempts to find her. Unfortunately, she died in the fire. The fire marshal tells us that the adult male, the father, was not home at the time. He was called, and that's when he came back to the house. The mother and the son were taken to the hospital. At last check, the mother was said to be in critical condition. The baby was treated and released. At this point, officials have not released the family's name. And we've also learned that the home where this all happened was built this year by Habitat for Humanity. The family moved in back in July, so this was a brand new house. Two police officers, the two officers who got here and were the ones that went inside and rescued the mom and the baby, were told they were sent to the hospital to be treated for smoke inhalation. Of course, the investigation now as to what exactly started this fire is ongoing. Reporting from Plainfield, I'm Brian Spiros, News 8.